Everybody, today is truly an amazing day. The skies are beautiful and we are all collectively gathered here as a brand and a reputable company. This is the Nyamidria Children's Home and I'm joined by the social worker. Please introduce yourself I'm first. I'm Nyamidria, okay. the social worker Nyamidria. Right, so today we're here to do some do donations for the children and just give us an overview about uh, the children's home. Okay, so this is Namibia Children's Home, a residential home for children yeah. that gives temporary shelter to often and vulnerable children within society, mainly within the Adenta jurisdiction okay. and also extend to Medina, um, Abokobi, mm -hmm. and then the region as a whole. I see. Yeah. How long have you been operating for? Okay, so we've been operating since 2005. Okay. We relocated here in 2015. From where? From Teshin to Adenta. Yeah, okay. What prompted generally. the relocation? And because the place was quite small okay. and also we had volunteers who went out there to raise funds to put up this building mainly to okay. shelter this vulnerable. This entire side? Yeah. Both yeah. fronts? So mainly see. to shelter vulnerable children. Mm -hmm. So um, we had to bring the children here. We can take um, a maximum number of 30 children. Yeah. 30 children? children yeah. Okay. So currently you have 30 kids? Currently we have more than 30 because cases keep on coming so mm -hmm. we have to um, extend the place and have an extension mm -hmm. so that we can take more more children. So we have about 50 children here. Oh, that's amazing. How has operations been so far since you started? Um, It's, it's not been easy. Yeah. yeah. It's not been easy but with God in our boot and then with um, and the people coming out like yeah. your organization mm -hmm. and other organization we are able to search we are able to cater for these children yeah. and prepare them so that we can reintegrate them back into families and then society okay what prompted this initiative is there a story behind it okay so i am our founder who is also an orphan from uh, coming from the north okay. grew up from the streets of accra who had to be a cleaner in a hotel mm -hmm. and then love kids mm -hmm. so we decided to um, save a little money and then start from fishing with a small apartment yeah. for meeting volunteers so you can see he had a passion to make sure that there are no more orphans there are no more vulnerable children mm -hmm. to make sure that the children living on the street the less privileged children also have that better life yeah, I see. Well, that's amazing. Thank you so much for speaking to me in your media. Guys, we have so much in stock. There are a lot of activities. We're going to meet the children, speak to some of the people in charge here. So stay tuned. There's so much more coming. So I am currently joined by the owner of this entire organization, Mr. Paul Anaba. Yeah. How are you doing today? Sir? I'm doing well. Okay. And, and thank you very much. Thank you too. First of all, I want to commend you for the beautiful work that you're doing here. The thank fact you. that you have the passion to help children, to yeah. provide residents and shelter. It's something to commend you on. So you're doing amazing, sir. Thank you. Um, I was speaking to Nyamidria earlier and then he shared a little background okay. about yourself. Yeah. How he mentioned that you are from the north, yeah, and you also were an orphan. Yeah, I'm gonna let you speak more on that for us, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I also grew up 
with our parents. My parents divorced when I was just a little. So um, my grandparents took care of me, right. like they adopted me, not to let me be in the street. But still, I was in the street. I used to come from the north and be at Accra and um, Circle, Circle, where um, um, Amankua was. Mm -hmm. And then I was washing plates. A, a lady was having a chop bar. That was early in your life. That, that was early in my life. So I struck that before I was able to put some money, mm -hmm. go back to the north and go to school. Okay. But when I was getting to finish um, school, um, my grandparents one passed on. Aww. So there wasn't hope. Then I have to come back to Accra, okay. to the same place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. How did this organization start? Yes, I, I myself, I, I don't know, but it's the Lord that does it. Right. You know, um, I get a, a work like a cleaner in a hotel. Mm -hmm. So I was at the hotel when this vision came. Mm -hmm. Somebody came to lodge there, a Nigeria guy. Okay. And it's like he has a friend who said um, he's sponsoring a, 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 an orphanage okay. in Bujumbura. Mm -hmm. Then the Nigeria guy went to, I mean, look at the place and also give an update to the, the donor in the in the state yeah. he went and nothing was that wow that there wasn't no offer so um and the donor still wanted to to work mm -hmm. so he asked the nigeria guy oh will you get somebody in ghana who can help us yeah. then he said oh paul can do it but then i was a cleaning in a, i was a cleaner in a guest house okay so um i just started to leave that lady mm -hmm. like uh, uh, that orphanage was hands of uh, hands of mercy. Okay. So we worked for a level of um, time, mm -hmm. and then there wasn't trust wow. and certain things. And yeah. then uh, um, I said, okay. So when I, I left there, mm -hmm. then I said, no, I, said, I have the passion. Yeah. I shouldn't let children be in the street when I can do it. Then I talked to some volunteers, and they say, yeah, they are ready to help me. That's why I make it uh, Miami Dria. Miami Dria. Miami Dria. Because looking at my own life, yeah. where I pass through, this children cannot pass through that. So it's God who plans me for this life. And I believe he continuously blesses you. Oh, he continuously, because people that come here, I mean, praise how yeah. the job is doing, and then the government also, I mean, love it. Yeah. And then, um, doing it and then they are, they are having the children to match with family. Yeah. I mean, that alone give me an impression okay. and then give me a blessing. So there have been some ad adoptions Oh, wow. Here yeah, yeah, there's been adoption by the okay. government. Okay. We don't work with uh, family. We don't work with churches. Mm -hmm. We work directly with, with the, uh, the Department of Social Welfare. Okay. And then that's why we don't have signs and things mm -hmm. because uh, a standard organization, you don't need to put um, signs. Okay. Like you are exposing the, yeah. I mean, yeah. the future and the background of the children. So um, since I'm doing this and then the government can come in and then take one of the child and then give out for a, a parent who need that child, yeah. I think um, I'm getting to achieve yeah. my vision. Aside from the adoption, has yeah. the government had a hand in like sponsoring the well-being of the children? Oh no. Okay. Well, they solely volunteers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm um, volunteers and then uh, the last people of Ghana. Okay. And then what the government does for me is uh, they've given me allowances. Mm -hmm. That's a very huge trust. Okay. The government has trust into me. Yeah. And then secondly, they bring the children from the street. Okay. That's another trust. Okay. The government trusted into okay. me and then thirdly some people will go to them mm -hmm. looking for the right orphanage to go and donate right. then they will, they will mess with me to yeah. that's yes. another trust right. so i can't do this alone without the government yeah yeah, yeah. that's amazing yeah. you're doing well putting up this structure yeah. giving yeah. the children a place to sleep I have and to. I yes have to. i think it's wonderful that brands like ourselves yeah. yes. have been able to you know locate you and then come in and offer Thank our you. help so hopefully in the future yeah. other brands other individuals anybody yeah. that wants to support yes. they can come in and then help make the lives of these children, children. Thank better you. Thank, you. thank you so much sir. Well,
Uh, we've spoken to the owner of this premises. We've spoken to the social worker that has been appointed to take care of stuff. It's only right that we speak to the head of the brand that has taken the initiative to gather all of us here today. So, hello, Mr. Danny Angels. Hi, how are you? I'm good in yourself. I'm happy to see you. Why Thank you. Nice We're all branded and looking amazing. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. so, quickly tell us what prompted you to gather your stuff and then come here today to make the donation to Nyamidia Orphanage. You know, Royal Kingdom Estate has always been preaching about that the brand is all about family. We see each and everybody that is connected to the brand as a family. A client of ours told us from time ago that the children here are about 50. Meanwhile, they are supposed to have about 25. So, you know, per our corporate social responsibility as Royal Kingdom Estate, we enroll widows, we enroll uh, orphans on our payroll. But today we decided that we need to come and give our widows might to the children here, support them, and also encourage them and um, help them to become uh, great people in society. Yeah. Because we say that our motto is what? We are building what? Nurturing dreams, dreams building. building what? Communities. These are future homeowners, you know? These are future real estate yeah. buyers. So yeah. we believe that we need to support. Uh, it's a worthy cause. That's why we are here today. As the head of a brand, what do you think is the importance of impacting society or giving back to society? Like I said earlier, the best opportunity one could get in life is to be able to what share the little that you have yeah i keep hearing the word the needy yeah everybody is needy exactly. but you don't need to have much to share mm -hmm. just a little you can share the world becomes a better place yeah. if we can look out for each other and be able to help each other and move forward so i'm happy to be part of this we are happy to be part of this exactly. thank you i think today is going to be wonderful yes. let's go talk to the children interact with them and right. then give what we have to them as right. well and hopefully in the future we'll be seeing more of this exactly with time. we also want to encourage others to yeah. be the same to emulate this good cause yeah. and support and let's give these guys these children a better life yeah thank you yeah. so much wonderful. for having me thank you thank you all right bye On behalf of Royal Kingdom Estate, uh, we want to encourage you. You are doing a very wonderful job. We are happy to be part of this initiative. Today is not going to be the last. You are going to be seeing more of us. But this is the little that we have today and we want to share with you. Thank you so much, sir. And also, uh, on behalf of the founder, Mr. Anaba, and the children, lovely right. children over here, yeah. we'd like to say a very big thank you to Royal Kingdom Estate for coming to our aid with these assorted items to cater for these children. And we say, may God this will bless you. And we hope to see you more often. Thank you very much for Thank coming. you so much. Thank you.